Today I'll be showing you how to make these bead tail jigs for crappies, trout, panfish, heck you could probably even ice fish with these. And these beads are fishing beads and I chose specifically floating beads. I got a box with many different colors and some of them glow, some of them fluoresces. And yeah, so yeah, this video is going to show you guys how to tie these. A couple things you need for this project here. One, you're going to need a jig hook. I took a tie 1 32nd to 1 16th ounce, but you guys can go heavier if you guys want it. You guys are going to need some line. I have some uh, old crappy line here. This is 10 pounds. You're going to need your floating beads or any sort of beads that you want to use. Some chenille and of course some line. First thing you want to do is build a line onto the shank of your hook. Get all the way past the barb right to where the hook start to bend. Trim off the waist. Next, you want to take your model. I'll take about a oh, couple inches, not much because you got to be cutting it anyway. So here you go, here's the model. Then you're gonna take a color bead. Since I'm doing a green profile, I'm just gonna pick a green bead. Now, what you wanna do is take this bead, and let me make sure I get focused, but you see the hole right there? You wanna stick it through, straight it through, very simple. Now here's the tricky part. Now you need to twist your line, because what happens is you keep twisting your line, kind of like a candy wrapper, it's gonna cause your your line to twist and eventually wrap up itself just like that and then you just keep twisting your line keep twisting the mono just like that this is going this way this is going this way and that's how you get your bead secure on the mono just like that guys sometimes when you twist your line your bead might not get to the center it's okay the key is you want to get your twist on first get your twist on guys get your twist on and then once you get enough twists we'll actually have some structure what you do is you just pull the line apart you see it straightens up then you want to get your bead close to the center and then once you put your hands back together you see it's closing back together right so the key, key is you're trying to get your bead to where it's going to bend and once it bends right there nope, almost had it there we go, got it. And then you just continue twisting until you get the thickness you need. Now you wanna measure. You can actually tighten it up just a little bit more just by pulling this, making the wraps tight. By making the wraps tighter. And you get the tail closer to, ball closer to the end. Okay, that's how I get it closer to the end. I keep twisting it and then I push the, the twisted line all the way to the end and it forces the ball to stay at the end. Now, I typically measure, oh, about the same length as a shank to where the bend is at. So I hold it right there, put it down right there and I start wrapping the model, secure it. I head all the way back to the head. What you want to do from here is take your mono, dip tie again, bend it down, face it forward that way. And basically you double tying it so it won't slip out. Get close to the barb, but not all the way. Trim that. Those lines go away. And now just secure the mono all the way to the end. There you go. Now, I'm gonna choose a contrasting, but still having some green accent chenille here. And uh, I'm gonna start from the front because I want a big, kind of big body. All right. Wrap around a couple times of the chenille, then wrap it around the head. Trim the chenille, get the whip finish tool. Okay. 
then you add your favorite glue and you're good to go. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this tying session. Let me know what you think about this jig and if you guys go tie up some of these jigs and catch some fish, leave me a comment below and let me know what type of fish you have caught. If you guys are new to my channel, consider subscribing as I will be tying a lot of different types of lures this season. Be using it for catching bass, crappies, trout, any sort of fish, you name it. Until next time guys, tight lines.